welcome back to the channel. So today we'll be going through Square, ticket code SQ. Uh, it's on one of my buy recommendations that I've done lately as one of my group buys that I've added to my portfolio. Uh, so it was a group of five stocks. So today we'll be going through Square as well. Uh, and we'll be releasing the rest of the other three companies later on during the week as well. So we've already done uh, Salesforce as a part of that as well. Uh, so also please like and subscribe to my channel. Comment below if you've got any questions. Uh, if you'd like me to analyze any businesses, I prefer to only analyze ones that uh, are profitable as that's the way I go about my investing. However, some of these companies that are in my latest buy recommendation aren't profitable, but I do believe they have massive potential because of the management team and their cash positioning within the company as well. So that is why these companies are in my portfolio. I, so you also you need to do your own research as I'm not a finance advisor. So make sure you do your own research to treat this as entertainment purposes only. However, last year I did make an 82% return on my money. So <laughs> that is obviously massive returns. Uh, so this could be your gateway to making massive returns in the future as well. I Also, I'll be linking my link in the, in the description below for stake where you can collect your free stock. Uh, if you fund the account within the first day, so the first 24 hours, uh, that's obviously for Australian residents only. Uh, and obviously my last buy recommendation was uh, Salesforce, CRM, uh, Square, ticket code SQ, Teladoc, ticket code TDOC, Cloudfare, ticket code NET, and Twilio, ticket code TWLO. They all still stay as a buy recommendation at the moment as well. So please get into it and we'll see you in the video. Cheers guys. All right, now what is Square? Square is a payment platform company that offers hardware such as basic card readers all the way up to your more complex registers. They also concentrate on uh, your online e-commerce platforms to manage your, uh, your payments as well from your customers. And they also manage their stock for you as well. Square only charge the client 2.6% plus 10 cents per transaction. So that's how they make their money on the transaction side of everything. Uh, it's pretty small in the scheme of things when you compare it to like credit card transaction fees anywhere from 1% to 3% per transaction. So it's in that same area. Uh, they also have added uh, Bitcoin to their pl payment platform as that is something that also will be big in the future as well. So it's good to see that they are moving with the times. Righto, so now on to the management for you. So Jack Dorsey is the current CEO of Square. He was born on November 19, 1976. Uh, he is an American tech entrepreneur. He also is the co-founder and CEO of Twitter, while also being the co-founder and CEO of Square. So before he gravified into the tech sector as an entrepreneur for massive companies, he started off as a certified masseur. He also dabbed a little bit into fashion and design. From there, he moved on, and he moved on and co-founded Twitter in 2006. He co-founded and CEO'd up to 2008. In 2009, he co-founded and CEO of Square, to get code SQ, so this is the company that we're analysing. Uh, he CEO'd Square up until 2015, where he made the business public as well, and he returned to CEO of Twitter at the end of 2015. So in 2015, he returned back to his CEO position in Twitter. In 2016, he gave away a one third of his Twitter shares to his employees. Now, I assume that this is, was as an appreciation of their value that they made to the business that he saw within the business as he was he went on to create Square. So that this is his appreciation to the employees. He appreciates everything that people do for him, so he gives back. Now, in 2020, April, 
he gave away one billion dollars uh, as gifts from his Square stock. Now, Jack is big on giving. He's big on giving, as we've already seen it as well. So he's get, given away one billion dollars, which is twenty eight percent of his total net worth from Square stock. So now we've sort of seen a little bit of an understanding of where Jack sits and why he's a big entrepreneur within his success. I, if Jack was to open up more businesses down the track, I would be interested in investing within those businesses as well because we have seen him grow some of the world's biggest businesses to massive businesses and co-founding those businesses. So that is great. He also gives back to society. So it is another thing that I also believe is good within the business because he appreciates everything that his employees do for him as well. Right, yeah, so now we're moving on. So in 2020, uh, Square had an earnings per share of 44 cents per share, which is great, they're profitable, not as awesome as what I would like it to be, to be honest, in a comparison to the share price. Uh, they have a P ratio of roughly 630, which is absolutely outstandingly massive. So it is sort of something that I don't love because it is a massive P ratio, considering the P ratio for the sector is 32. Uh, that, does my, that does mean that the public do believe this company has massive growth potential, which is great. Uh, Yahoo Finance have a prediction of 54% compounded per year over the next five years, and Simply Wall Street predict 31% per year compounded over the next five years. Now, one of the things that my cash to liability ratios, it's not as great as what I would like it to be. However, the management team is what really draws me to this company. So the cash on hand is uh, just over $3 million and their liabilities on hand for the next 12 months is just over $4 million. So that gives them a ratio of 0.75. Now realistically, when I invest within companies, I like to see 1.5 as a cash to liability ratio. So that is something that you would have seen in my previous videos. This is the number that I try and hit. However, 0.75 isn't flash, but the management team is supreme. So this is one of the, the reasons why I actually invest within Square. It's not so much because of their cash to liability ratios. That is pretty poor, in my opinion. However, over their period, Square has continued to remain anywhere between uh, 0.7 and 0.8 so it is consistent which is great uh, and the management team is what's holding it together Morgan Stanley has a buy recommendation of up to $245 per share so that's something else to also consider is other companies are looking out there and they do believe that this is a great company to buy within and hold into the future why do I believe Square is a great investment? Now, one of the reasons which I've already mentioned as to why I believe Square is a great investment, and that's due to the management team. Now, the other reason that where I also consider for Square to be a great investment into the future is their total revenue. So over the last year, they had a total, a total processing payment volume of 109 billion US dollars. Now, so this is actually equated to 2% of what's estimated to be for the worldwide payment processing volume by 2023, which is 45 trillion dollars. So to only have a 2% market cap within a sector that is massively growing is very incredible, considering I think that they have some of the biggest competitive advantages within the industry. They could potentially hold up to 20% within this industry, which would mean their revenues are 10 times higher than what it is now. Now, in terms of the 2% rule. So this is something that I, does drive me to square, and I do believe they have massive potential. One of my next reasons of why Square 
uh, is a good investment. Uh, and that's all to do with the revenue of the industry. Now, so Cash App is fairly new. Uh, so it is a fairly high growing industry as well. It is something I do believe will be massive in the future. And the other reason of why I do believe uh, investing into this industry also will be great is to do with, so cash is going to become harder and harder to come by with into the future and therefore will mean card payments are going to become more and more common. Little things like if you rock up to markets and things like that as well, you'll start to, you really do see people that have got those little portable card reader machines. Now I've seen like little iPad ones as well, right up to your more complex registers. So that is one of those things that that's the reason why I do believe this industry is a great industry to be investing within because as time goes, cash is going to become less and less of a transaction used within a cheap product. When I say a cheap product, let's say a $5 transaction or a $10 transaction, even a $50 transaction, cash is going to become less and less used. And why Square? as my investment because they have a massive competitive advantage over the rest of the industry. However, there is a lot of competitors within the industry. So Square do need to keep innovating into the future as well. So that is something that, while I hold Square as a bar of foundation, I need for them to, I need to see them growing and to innovate into the future as well. So that is something that I will be watching closely. So Square is still a buy recommendation on my latest buys, and cool. Okay, so we'll get into the next one. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Please like and subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions, comment them down below. If you'd like me to analyze any businesses for you as well, please make sure that they are profitable, because otherwise I probably will not uh, analyze it, unfortunately, because it is something that I do concentrate my buying within. So please like and subscribe. Don't forget to collect your free stock from Stake and Below. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.